my name is Reverend Dr. Tanisha Sparks, and I am the Director of Finance and Administration here at the Jesuit School of Theology. Today, I've been asked to answer the question, do I believe there will be more opportunities for women in ordained ministry now that Pope Francis has uh, afforded more opportunities for women within the Catholic Church? Um, my answer to that question is yes, but I'm gonna answer that question from a Protestant perspective. Um, currently, I've been in ordained ministry for over for about 18 years, and I have been blessed um, to minister in a variety of settings and exercise the calling that I believe God has on my life. I know that is not always the case for many, and particularly my sisters in the Catholic Church. What many don't realize is that women bring a fresh perspective uh, to ministry, especially when it comes to biblical hermeneutics. Um, the lens in which we as women have been blessed by God to have really, in my opinion, enriches the life of the faith community as a whole. Being a minister um, in the Lord's service has allowed me to not only preach the word of God, but to administer the sacraments um, as well as really serve the people of God in phenomenal ways. Um, granted, is not without str struggle um, over the years. I, there, it has been a struggle, even for us women who are Protestant, to live out our call. But one thing I'm reminded of is in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, the Lord said these words, And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. A lot of people today, male and female for that matter, believe that women are not called to ministry. I highly disagree. God calls men and women uh, to the Lord's service. And I believe it's important that women realize that they have an opportunity um, to follow the will of God for their life and, and particularly in their service to the church. A lot of people also use the fact that the Apostle Paul, whom we contribute many of the New Testament writings to, um, gave a famous quote when he said, or text for that matter, when he said, women be silent in the church. People will use that to justify women not being allowed to preach. Um, this same Paul also wrote in Romans 16 and 3, give my greetings to Priscilla and Aquila, my co-work is in the ministry of Christ Jesus. If you really study the text, Priscilla and Aquila were co-pastors. They were husband and wife. And Priscilla was really um, the leader in that uh, relationship when it came to the work of the ministry. And so for every argument of women not being able to serve in ministerial roles in the church, uh, there is a, a, a different perspective of given in scripture um, according to the will and word of God. So for me personally, uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be used by God in the work of the ministry, and particularly the ordained ministry. And I do believe more opportunities will arise for my sisters uh, to do likewise, because the, the church and the world that we are called to serve will be better as a result. Those are my perspectives. Of course, there's more, but due to uh, time consideration, I'm going to stop right there and hope we can continue this conversation in the future. Thank you. Goodbye.